Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the steps needed for creating API products on the new Tyke Enterprise Developer Portal. So let's get started. Before we begin, there are a few prerequisites that you should be aware of. First, you need a Tyke self-managed installation with a valid license key. Then you should have the Enterprise Developer Portal installed. And if you'd like to find out about how you can do that, feel free to watch some of our previous installation videos. Then you need to have the Tyke self-managed installation added as a provider in the developer portal. Over to the developer portal. Now, API products is really an easy way to offer bundles of APIs as products to external developers. To think about it, we are effectively grouping APIs so that they are easy to discover, easy to search, and easy to understand. To think about an example, Imagine if you were to have multiple APIs that were related to weather, for instance, that could be the weather in the UK, weather in the US, or weather in SG, and you want to provide that to API consumers, you can group them together into a single API product called, say, weather APIs, and they will all be searchable and findable under one category of one bundle of APIs or API product. Similarly, you could do the same with user data or user information where you might have basic user information as an API. You might have an API that provides um, user preferences. You might have information about user uh, payment history and you want to group them all together into a single user data um, API product, for instance. And that's how you would be presenting that information so that once again, it is easy for the third party developers or API consumers and partners to actually consume and find and discover the, the APIs that you have provided. So how do we actually make this happen? How, what are the steps that are needed? So we're gonna be using policies, which you should be familiar with if you have been using um, the Tyke platform before. So heading over to the Tyke dashboard, policies are available under the system management section to the left. I'm gonna head on over. Now, in order for this to work, obviously you should have a few APIs that are created already or added to the Tyke platform, which I already have. So I'm gonna go straight over to add a policy and I'm gonna pick my user info API. I'm gonna be adding a few more user purchase history and I'm gonna be adding user preferences. So three APIs inside this API product. The next step, quite an important step, is that under policy partitioning, under the global limits and quotas, you need to keep enforce access rights enabled and disable enforce usage quota and enforce rate limit. This is something that we'll be handling in plans, which I'll be covering in a future video. But in order for us to create API products, the only thing we need here is enforcing access rights. Next, we head on over to configuration. I'm going to call this user data, user data API product. And I'm going to set expiration to never, and I'm going to hit create policy. So while that is done, I'm going to head back over to my dev portal. I have already connected my provider. And if you would like to find out more about that, there is also a video available on this. So currently I've got one product in a plan. I'm going to hit synchronize. And that's going to import the second product. So if we go over to the API product section here, we'll see that we've got two products here. I've got a user data product and I've got user data API product. I think I might have recreated that uh, twice. But in here, I can go in and I'll see a few pieces of information where we have the name, of course, and the authorization type. This is imported from the policy itself. But equally, I can override some of this information based on catalog display names. We'll touch upon catalog in a future video, but you can change the way it is displayed for the external portal. You can add a description. You can add some content. You can upload an image if you would like to do that for, because it's an API product, products have images. You can add all of that information here. You can select which catalog that you would want to publish this API to. Once again, we will tackle this when we come to publishing APIs. And then we've got dynamic client registration where we, we talk about scopes and clients, which again, we'll tackle in a future video. API resources will give you an idea about what kind of APIs are part of this particular API product. And if you so choose, you can also add OAS documentation here if you want to on a per API basis. And that's about it. I'm gonna hit save changes. There isn't much, but 
That is it. It's not published yet, but that is how you would be importing, you would be creating API products and importing it over to the developer portal. So hope that was helpful. If you want to find out more information, head on over to the Tyke documentation. And until next time, cheers and take care.